Ja, hier haben wir also unsere, unsere Überarbeitung, die Episode 2 der Borg von Think Team. Wir haben äh, bei diesem Lautsprecher jetzt im Prinzip die komplett einmal überarbeitet, äh, die alte Borg, und äh, sind zu dem Entschluss gekommen, oder Think Team ist zu dem Entschluss gekommen, dass das Gehäuse einfach, weil es schon nah an der Perfektion dran war, aus äh, den Gründen, weil sich auch die Physik einfach letzten Endes nicht, äh, nicht verändern lässt in, in den letzten Jahren, es sind kleine Änderungen äh, gemacht worden. Wie man da sieht, ist der Sockel mittlerweile etwas angeschrägt. Das ist die Box eine andere Ausrichtung noch äh, vorne oben kriegt. Fink Team hat dann, äh, ist hingegangen, hat eine leichte Modifikation am, äh, am Hochtöner vorgenommen. Und das Kernstück der, der neuen äh, Überarbeitung ist letzten Endes die völlig überarbeitete Frequenzweiche. Und damit haben wir den, oder wurde der Sound der Borg in der Episode 2 deutlich noch mal gesteigert. Hi, good morning. My name is Alex Monroe. I'm with Armor Home and we are the parent company of Q Acoustics and also QED, the cable brand, and Goldring, the cartridge maker. Uh, this is the Q Acoustics room and uh, we are launching the new 5000 series. And you can see here the products that we're demonstrating, which is the model 5040. And uh, if you uh, look to the side of the room, you can see the uh, models in the range, uh, 5040, 5020, and uh, 5010, and the 5090 center channel. And they're shown in the uh, fit different finishes which are available, uh, white, Uh, oak and rosewood and there is a black version for uh, home cinemas. So the, uh, what's special about these is that they uh, are designed in order to fit between our entry level models, the 3000i, and our higher end models, the concept range. And uh, they have a brand new development which is we've used a new cone design called Continuous Curved Cone. And uh, this is a design where we get the, the best possible compromise between a straight-sided cone and a flared cone. And in one case, the uh, flared cone is very good with higher frequencies, but not so good with bass. A straight-sided cone is very good with the low bass, but not so good at the high end. So here we have a lovely uh, compromise, and we've done that by uh, experimentation, starting with a single radius sphere, and then uh, uh, adding a second radius, and then more and more radii, until we have exactly the curve that we want. And um, what it does is it gives us not only a very extended base, but it gives us a high sensitivity and an excellent crossover between the mid-bass driver and the high-end tweeter, which is a, a tweeter from our concept series that's uh, trickle-down technology, and it has a neodymium magnet system, which means that it's a very narrow diameter, so we can get the mid-bases very close and then have a very gentle crossover between the two in order to give the best possible dispersion. So, we also have in the room on static display uh, our uh, active range of products and the uh, floor standing model is the Q-Active 400 and then we have the Q-Active uh, 200 uh, which is a stand mount and they're sitting on our special uh, tensegrity style stands. Now, they, um, uh, they uh, use a different driver technology called uh, BMR, and the drivers on the front go down to 150 hertz and then cross over to a built-in subwoofer, which is on the rear of the speaker. We uh, then, at this side of the room, at the entry, we have our... Uh, concept range of products, which is our high-end, and uh, we have the model Concept 30, 
concept 50 and concept 90. And uh, when you move up from 5,000 to concept, you get the benefit of our uh, cabinet technology, which is called gel core. And uh, that's where you have effectively two cabinets, one inside the other, separated by an adhesive which never sets. So you uh, are isolating the vibrations that are happening inside the cabinet from the outside surface and thus from uh, emanating into the room and creating distortion. So these are very ultra-low distortion speakers and do a superb job, particularly with classical music. On the wall here, you can see a, a quite different type of uh, product. And uh, this is a uh, part of our installation range and it's called model E120 and it's the combination of a built-in amplifier uh, and uh, built-in loudspeakers. The amplifier has uh, FM and DAB radio and it also has Bluetooth. So it's uh, very simple and straightforward uh, for single room use. It has touch sensitive uh, screen so that you can uh, change uh, the uh, presets and change channels for different inputs and it uh, also is uh, IP rated so that you can put it in your kitchen and you don't have to worry about wet fingers uh, or any dampness. Within the same family as our uh, Q-Active loudspeakers uh, we have some powered speakers called the M20 and uh, this is uh, where we have uh, a tweeter and a woofer uh, in what looks like a conventional uh, hi-fi speaker cabinet, but in one of the cabinets we have a stereo amplifier built in and then from the stereo amplifier we convey the music to a second speaker for the other channel uh, from the terminals on the back here. And, uh, don't worry about where the power cable for the power outlet is in your home because uh, we are able to switch this to be either the left speaker or the right speaker. It has a Bluetooth input uh, to the highest possible quality currently available and we also have an optical input uh, which you would probably use for a, a television we have an analog input and we have a USB input if you were going to connect it straight to your laptop. And uh, finally, uh, we have some room adjustment so that if you're going to mount it in the corner of a room or up against a wall or out on a stand, you're able to do that. They fit our stands and wall brackets. And finally, we have an output which is for adding a subwoofer if you felt you wanted just that little bit extra rumble for watching movies on TV. If we move across here, we can see the gold ring range of uh, cartridges. And we have a, a combination of uh, the moving coil cartridges, which is Ethos, Elite, and Eroica. And then we have moving magnet cartridges from our uh, 1000 series and from E series where we're launching at this show the model E4. Now before we leave the um, moving coil cartridges we have a very special one called the Eroica HX. It's less than a year since it was launched and uh, what's special about it is that it, uh, you can use it with a moving magnet uh, input to your amplifier. So you don't have to have a special moving coil sensitive input. It has a high enough output to let you do that. And that's very rare and it lets people uh, upgrade to a moving coil for the first time without having to replace their amplifier equipment. Just before you uh, leave us there, this is a very special product I know this, called yeah. Zerostat 3 yeah. and we sell thousands and thousands of them every year. Uh, it's a great way of uh, reducing the dust attraction to your uh, LPs and it's even used in the pharmaceutical industry 
uh, in order to minimize the static charge on vessels when you're using very fine powders. It's, uh, uh, it's an extraordinarily successful product for us. And then finally moving across to our uh, cable range, which is celebrating a very special anniversary. We are 50 years old, so QED was in at the very beginning of speaker cables and specialist speaker cables. So we felt it appropriate to celebrate our 50th birthday with a 50th anniversary cable. And uh, you can see it's uh, livery, it's um, marked up with 50th anniversary on the uh, heat shrink there. And uh, it's also its colouring is echoing the celebration too. It's an XT or X-tube cable, which means that uh, we uh, uh, recognising the skin effect which sends the signal to the outside of the copper cable, uh, we have a plastic uh, bit of um, uh, tubing that runs through the centre, which is why it's called uh, X-tube, uh, because the uh, copper goes in a circle around that and uh, it conducts all the music on the outside of the surface, as you would expect it to. The rest of the display is uh, showing <laughs> representative products from the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s and 2010s uh, which are recognising various milestones during the 50 years of our history. And then above that uh, we have some uh, excellent contemporary products uh, which are relatively recently introduced and uh, are uh, creating quite a ripple in the industry, particularly our, our uh, reference Ethernet cable, uh, which people use for uh, connecting their uh, router into their audio system in order to uh, reproduce and convey the highest quality of audio available in the home. That's a new integrated amplifier we just launched on the market. It's called Virtus i2. It was designed based on the existing uh, AI 1.10 integrated amplifier, but there are many enhancements in, compar in comparison to the, to the 1.10. The most visible one is, is the aluminium chassis, instead of uh, metal sheet cover we used for 1.10. There are many improvements in the uh, electric part, like the, we shortened the signal path and uh, one of the other things which is important is the new shield for the transformer which is made from the inox steel a sheet 4 mm thickness. Another quite important thing is the back panel. We have added the output line fix which was a feature which uh, was required by many customers and we improved also the part related to the monoblocks because you can create the monoblock connection using those two units. Connect them with a ceiling cable and determine simply by a switch which one is uh, master and which one is the slave. There are four inputs unbalanced which are active in the stereo mode in the monoblock connection you can use the balanced inputs. Okay, another product we just launched is the new phono stage, which is called Asterion V2. It belongs to the premium line of counter products, the same like the integrated amplifier I just shown you. So both those new products belong to the premium line. Asterion V2 was designed based on existing PH 1.10 phono preamplifier, which was very popular, highly awarded phono preamp. Again, we improved the chassis, used the aluminium uh, chassis instead of metal sheets. There are some changes on the front panel, but what's the most important also, that we have added the balanced we have added the balanced input so you can connect the turntable with the balanced output. Another changes are made uh, inside 
we used the capacitor of the two classes higher than the, in the previous uh, amplifier, uh, sorry, yeah, pre-amplifier. Of course, we are going to sell both stuff in parallel, I mean the existing and the, and the new, so customer can decide which, which like they would like to use. Another product, it's, uh, it was kept as a secret until the last moment, is the new integrated uh, amplifier, it's class AB, it's supposed or plant power should be 80 or 100 watts. But it's not just the integrated hybrid amplifier, but it's a DAC, phono preamp, and the headphone. Oh yeah, all I in saw one. that before uh, with the touch screen here. Yeah, there exactly. This is the touch screen. This is some kind of invention we made. Yes. So as you can see, there are no control buttons on the front panel, but you can simply switch during the features. There is just the preliminary how it's gonna look we'll scroll here or here we'll play it yeah, with it good. more yeah. if you want to shut it down you do simply this yeah. and what I especially like it's this turning the unit off you can see the lamp how it's beautiful being yeah, worn <laughs> so that's the basically all from the news we just launched on the market okay. thank yep. you thank you hello and welcome i'm keith martin ceo of isotech uh, isotech is a brand of power cleaning uh, equipment designed specifically for the audio and audio visual industry so it's a very unique technology that we have um, we're a bit multi-award winning and we've been designing high quality power cleaning systems for almost 25 years now. So we have an international reputation. And I'm gonna talk you through some of the products just very quickly. So we're at the Munich High End Show. And the Isotech range of products is broken down into categories. We have the Discovery line, which is an entry level range of products. And with those products, we ship our Initium power cable. That is this green power cable here. So when you buy an Isotec product, we don't give you a very bad quality, cheap black plastic cable. We give you a high quality, 100 euro Initium cable with our Discovery line of products. I'm gonna move just slightly over here and take you through the Discovery line. So first of all, we start with the Gemini. This is a really useful piece of kit if you have a small um, integrated amplifier source, maybe a CD player. You don't need a lot of sockets, so you can buy one of these uh, smaller power cleaners. And the other thing about Isotech is no two isolation sockets, no two sockets are connected directly together. Every single outlet socket is isolated. So this socket is not connected to this socket. Everything references back to a centralized power cleaning network here. So this is the Polaris, and this distribution strip ships with our Initium cable, as I mentioned before. And the other cool thing that we do is we have a technology called System Link. Now System Link allows you to expand your range of Isotech products if you have, for example, bought a new mu music server. Say, for instance, six sockets is all you need to begin with. You buy a music server switch, and suddenly you need another two sockets. While well, using the system link, you can connect a, uh, an auxiliary cable to maybe a Polaris. And then you have eight sockets, you maintain a fully starter supply, and the two units act as a jump filter for each other, benefiting their performance. So it's an upgradable, flexible system. Also part of our discovery line of products is the Corvus, larger product, nine independently power cleaned outlets and again this ships with our initium power cable concluding our discovery range of items is the electra that is this product over here i will just hand this uh, just put that over there for the time being so the electra um, 
is the first of our rack width power cleaning units. And this is very special. It's actually six power cleaners in one box. So we have basically two high current output sockets rated at 10 amps. And then we have four medium current outlets rated at five amps. So this is where you would put your source components, CD, DAC, pre, etc. And this would be uh, integrated amp, power amp, maybe monoblocks, maybe a subwoofer and a stereo amplifier. So this network is completely designed specifically for high current output. And again, with all of the Isotec products, we, have a, we offer levels of protection against over voltage, power surges, spikes, etc. So your equipment is safe when it's connected into an Isotec product. And also the protection system that we have works on a sequential basis. So it works a little bit like ABS braking. We don't slam on and kill the dynamics. We step it up as it's needed, but it can be as fast as five microseconds, which is half a main, half a main sine wave. So this is Electra. From the discovery line of products, we move up into the performance range. And the performance range starts with Sirius. This is this product here. Uh, it's a power bar. Um, again, centralized filter network. No two power sockets connected together. Our performance products ships with our premier power cable. So it's about a 170 euro retail cable, but we include it for free when you buy one of our performance products. And these are all rated at 16 amps. So we use a C20 IEC input. Um, and again, our power bars all have wall mounting brackets included. Um, I can show it on this one. You see these little brackets here. So this, you would just simply rotate around that way and you can place that on the wall behind your audio equipment if you don't have space. From Sirius, we move up to Aquarius, one of our most popular and award-winning items in our range. And Aquarius, again, is six power cleaning systems in one box. If we come around to the rear of the unit, you can see, again, that we have two high current output sockets. We have four medium. Again, a system link for expanding the product should you need to. Power input, um, gold plated C20 IEC. Two, the, the, the big difference between this product and the Electra is, again, 16 amps, but we actually use thermomagnetic fuses, which is way better than any kind of audio grade little fuse. I mean, it might be gold-plated or, or whatever, but it's still a thin piece of wire. With our fusing system, which I can show on this, you see we have two thermomagnetic fuses. Yeah, one for the high current side, one for the medium current side. And when you have these coupling, they're a thousand times better than any fuse, standard fuse or audio grade fuse you could get. So this is the performance range of product. Then we step up to the select. So within the select range, we have Sigmus. This is a higher grade uh, power cleaner. Uh, again, high current, medium current, just better uh, network, uh, better components inside. Um, in fact, all of the internal wiring that we use in the performance and the select range of products is a Ono continuous cast copper. It's silver plated. We, we wind a spiral of FEP around the conductor and extrude FEP over the top so we have a virtual air dielectric with the internal wiring cable. So it's all high grade. Everything's silver plated uh, for absolute audio performance. Titan is also part of our select range. And this particular product is designed specifically for high current applications. So I believe we're one of the only companies that actually designs specifically for high current applications. That would be power amps, monoblocks, etc. And when you have these, I mean, most people say, oh yeah, 
don't put a power amp on a power cleaner because it will kill dynamics. Well, that's true if the power cleaning system has been designed badly. If it has been designed with expertise and knowledge, it will do the opposite. You'll get a more dynamic range, you'll get front to back layering of uh, your sound stage, and a more open uh, uh, presentation with a lower noise floor. So this is what Titan achieves. And around the back here, you can see how the system link actually works. So the system link in this context would feed out of here, and then the Titan would maintain a fully starred system back to a single wall socket. So that is a brief introduction around the boxes. Um, we supplement our range of power cleaning systems with our power cables. Again, these illustrations show you um, how we go about doing, uh, doing the design of these. And I would, um, I would say that if you have the time and you wish to, go visit our website, isotechsystems.com. You can download our cable brochure and you can learn and read about all of our power cables as well. And we talk about uh, why we choose the metals that we do, the purity of the copper we use, why we actually use the dielectrics that we do, and we explain that. And we also explain about metal treatments, etc. So we give a reason for the way that our products are designed, the way they, the way that they are. We are a nuts and bolts kind of company. We do what we do, and we do it extremely well because we know what we're doing. We're not jumping into an area of the market that we think we can make a quick buck with. We've been doing this for 25 years almost, and the very first product that we created won Hi-Fi News Product of the Year, and just recently our Aquarius continues to win many, many, many audio awards. So if you want to improve the sound of your audio system, if you want to get the most out of your audio system, you need to clean the power line. And just briefly, two big areas of problem are differential mode noise and common mode noise. Differential mode noise is created by all electrical components plugged into your wall sockets, including your hi-fi system. And common mode noise is, we're bathed in it. We use Wi-Fi networks, etc. Years ago, it was referred to as RFI, but we're surrounded in it. So if you want to get the best out of your audio system, you've got to give it clean power. It's no different to putting a high-octane fuel in your car. Yeah? And if you're driving a Formula One car, you need, again, a special fuel to make that whole engine system work. And audio is no different. Same with food. If we eat contaminated food, we get sick. If you put bad power into your audio system, it doesn't work as well. I hope this has been interesting for you. Thank you for your time, if you've watched this all the way to the end. And happy audio listening and enjoying your music. Bye for now.